Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde. Welcome to EFA 140 on this Sunday, August 9th. Artipithecus, Homo sapiens, uh, Homo neanderthalensis. Let's keep going on, right? We've had titles for everything and uh, depending on what you believe, <laughs> you, you, there's research, there's data, there's everything that goes all the way back, like hundreds of thousands of years on, on human beings and the type of human beings and all the way back, right? And, uh, and this is tangible, like if I knock on this table, it's tangible. So they have bones, they have everything. And throughout life, we always have these titles, but these were titles for research and these were titles for, uh, for identifying and, and so on and so forth. And we progressed to the point where today we have so many titles, right? Your, your LBGQ, and, and it keeps going on and on and on. And uh, your, your, your demisexual, your, 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 your from gay to straight to bi to like, I'm getting at these titles. These titles have separated us as human beings to the point where we are today in 2020. In 2020, we have so many different titles and we're worse off as human beings when it comes to interaction and when it comes to connectivity. If you look at the world right now, the divisions, pigeonholes, those that don't understand that back in the day there was all these pigeonholes, you would put all your information in that kind of stuff, and I'm sure it came from the, 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 the all, all the pigeonholes for the pigeons, but then all these mailboxes, military and government and so forth, and everybody had their little box, right? So you would go to your little box, and they still have them today, your couriers, I'm gonna sell you a seat. You have your little box, and you go to your little box, right? And that's what the world is today. Everybody has their little box, right? And all the way from, like I said, your homo sapiens to where we are today. Like I was on a, those that know my previous background, um, you know, 30 years in uh, running businesses and, and different corporations and blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I did my 27 years in government, which I resigned back in 2017. Um, a few years prior to resigning and leaving government, I was on a mandatory training. And I'm talking 2016, if I recall from memory here, 2016 is, and it was a mandatory training. And, and, and near the end, it was everything, was, everything was becoming mandatory training. Right, it wasn't voluntary; it was mandatory, and I'm not talking about uh, training like your your day-to-day -day operations and so on and so forth. If this one here was to teach us about the, uh, I can't remember, it was 20, 21, 26 different genders or, or identification that we have on Earth, and uh, there was three individuals up front in the group, and uh, remember, th this is mandatory, so I can't remember how many. Uh, uh, government staff was participating in this mandatory training on that day at that time, but I'm going to say it was probably between 30 to 50. The, the room was full. And the three individuals that gave the course, um, I can't identify them because I, I don't remember what they, uh, what they identified themselves as, uh, but they were three uh, life forms <laughs> in the front and they, they had their own identification. And knowledge, training, and experience. And I've talked about this before. And listening to understand. So. Throughout the training, I was listening to understand, and I and I sat there attentively, and I, I actually sat close to the front, and I, and I love doing that, and all those kind of things, and I'm, I'm listening, because it's important to learn. It's truly important to learn, and it's our duty to teach, you know? And, and if you look at me, people tell me that I mentor a lot, and those kind of things, and it's who I am. And uh, a business partner's father, one time we were talking, and a uh, very wise man, <laughs> very wise man, and that, that opened his own door through life, and uh, built his own name and so forth. And um, the, he, uh, we were having a conversation and in that conversation, I mentioned something to him. And uh, from that, he said to me, it's our duty to teach, right? And he's like, it's our duty to teach. And that resounded and stuck with me, right? And this is why I listen to understand all of that. And this is why I teach people to listen to understand. There are those, they, <laughs> you could be a pilot, you could be a scientist, you can be a, an astronaut, you can be a miner, you can be a framer, you can be a painter, and they will, they will, they will over talk you because they think they know everything and they know nothing, right? They truly. So, and I tell that to my daughters. I was talking to a, a landscape this morning, and I said to him, you know, in, in conversation, we were having a, a, a good conversation, and I said, you know, if you start talking about landscaping, I shut the hell up because I listen, right? Because that's what you've been doing for 30 years. Right? So, and there's a lot of individuals that, that will over talk people all the time because they don't listen. They, 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 uh, they don't listen to understand. They just listen to over talk or listen to, they, 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 never, they never let the conversation flow through. And my daughters will tell you how I'm very uh, adamant on that at dinner table, especially since March 
wealth approximately when I made mandatory <laughs> for my family to sit at a dinner table. Let's have a conversation around a dinner table at night. And it's very important that that's where we learn from each other. And this is where we will debate. This is where we'll, we bring it back to center. <laughs> Just bring it back to center. And it's very peaceful, very zenful when you do that. So the, the listening to understand, and my dog will tell you that I, I will get upset if, if you start talking, especially talking about something serious, life, death, teaching, moments on earth that are going on right now, and they'll make a joke out of it. And I'll tell them, like, do you understand the concept of what's going on? And I'll, and I'll go into the details of all these things with them, so just so they can understand. And like, I was talking about uh, economics in the past, and, and you talk to any children today in high school, start asking them questions on paying taxes, on what is a credit card, on what are payments requirements, what are percentages, like what is, what, what's P&I, like, like you, you can go all these little basics that they should know, and they don't. Like I was talking to a banker the other day about home economics, right? People were thinking cooking, that kind of stuff. There was also a lot of other things that were taught in home economics. So it's our duty to teach because the system is not teaching them that. However, the system loves those individuals to be part of the system because those are the ones that just ka-ching, 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 right? They just they expand and, and debt and part of a system and then, and then the obese, I can keep going on here. So. I was listening to understand. So I sit there and I sat there and the entire process of explaining all the genders and that, and what transpired in that class, some individuals were getting upset, right? Some individuals in the class were government individuals were upset and they, 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 uh, they voiced it during the class and they, they felt uncomfortable and they voiced it during the class, but it was a mandatory training. So they had to participate regardless of your culture, regardless of your upbringing, regardless of your, of your ethnicity, the, the, your, your, your religious background, your true belief, your DNA beliefs, your inner gut belief. Remember that, that, that the, 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 I call it the spider senses, I tell my daughter your spider sense, but that gut feeling, right? When you feel uncomfortable, like, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and people that know me, They'll know that I'm very, very liberal. <laughs> very liberal. I, I, I'm gonna say, I've had a very good sex life, okay? Very good, I'm gonna be born here. I'm very liberal and I've had a very good sex life and I'm very open and I'm, it is what it is. It's who I am and uh, I'm, a, I'm financially conservative. Uh, I don't believe in big government. I don't, and so I'm financially conservative, but I'm extremely open-minded. I'm extremely liberal when it comes to the, 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 the social uh, lifestyles and, and et cetera and so forth. And those that know me know that, all right? And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep going forward here. So during the, uh, near the end of the training, and, and I'm listening to all this, and then there's people in the class that are visibly upset. There were those that participated and there were those that engaged and that kind of stuff. And it, it was very good. Like I, 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 I'll be honest with you, it was, it was very good to listen. It was very good to listen. But then I raised my hand. <laughs> I raised my hand after every, pretty much everything was done and said and done. And I started asking the question, why do we need labels? Why, why do we need a neon sign above each of our heads? Right? Why can't we deal with human beings as human beings? Right? Why, and why can't we treat things like on a criminal activity, for example? I grew up, uh, gay individuals would get murdered with baseball bats coming out of their clubs, that kind of stuff. Think about that for a second. How, how like prehistoric that is, <laughs> right? They would get murdered just because they were gay. Think about that for one second. You're being murdered just because you're gay. And today, 2020, go online and I'll, I'll, there's videos, videos of youth being murdered. One of them I saw is in Brazil, being murdered, machete to death. And they're being filmed, all these people around him because he's gay. I think he's 17. It, it is sad, and I'm telling you, and I know people that know that have the rose-colored glasses. I'm a realist. I'm a, I'm a very strong realist, and I will educate, and I will make those that listen to understand because they're, they, that, that, that's how that's how that's how people get into power that should never be into power. That's how people are given reins that they should never have in their hands. And this is why we have empowered groups and organizations for the last 30 years with our money, and those groups have are now tearing apart the fabrics of our democratic nations with other people's money, i.e. the system, right? And that's what's happening. So when I was listening, I said, why do we need, we all need labels? 
We have so many divisions now in the world. And I said, and I, said, and I was very honest in the class, I've done things that will curl your hair, <laughs> right? And, and, and those that are bald, they'll curl your hair, trust me. And I've lived a good life, like I mentioned a moment ago. And I have, I have I, it, it does it like, that all said, if a man touched me, that kind of stuff, I would not enjoy that. I have a natural instinct to whoop, push it away. It's natural. That's my, that's my spider sense, right? Just like a woman, just like a man, just like any human beings, A, Y, Z, whatever you want to def identify yourself as, if it's uncomfortable because that's not part of your DNA as a human being. So if a man came up to me and started touching me, I wouldn't like it. If a woman came up to me and started touching me that I was not attracted to, I wouldn't like it. Right? And that has happened just like women on women and men on men and vice versa and etc. etc. So therefore, that's a human being reaction. It doesn't care about the title on top of your head. And what I explained to them that day in that class, those divisions, those pigeonholes and so on and so forth, and everybody wants a title, it's tied to money. It's tied to groups. It's tied to organizations now. And, and where we're at today in 2020, pedophilia. Pedophilia, they want their title. And I said that in that class that day. The pedophiles want a title. The pedophile, there's organizations in the world right now, pedophilia organizations in the world right now. There's talks on social media in 2020, 2019, and beyond that, that pedophilia should be part of all these titles. They want a title, they want to be recognized. Look what's happening in the world right now. Pedophile Island, right with Epstein. Look at all the big names attached to it. it. It's you know what I mean, and all this stuff that's going on, and, and, and uh, even a social media world makes jokes about it. But think about that for a second. That's pedophilia on the highest level. Pedophilia on a highest level involved with decision makers. Like who the hell is running the zoo right now? Think about that for a second. You have a pedophile island. You have very, very, very rich individuals on this earth, part of an organization, I'm gonna call it an organization, a system that is tied to pedophilia. And those individuals that are tied to that pedophilia are all decision makers, lawmakers, regulatory individuals on this earth. That a lot of them control a lot of decisions on this earth. And if you don't think we have been herded since March, before that, all this started before that. But if you don't think we have been herded and where we're going right now, there's a system out there that recognizes pedophilia as a title. And all these groups, they're all tied to money. And if you remove the titles off everybody's head, I guarantee you, eventually, we will all treat each other as human beings. And that's it. With, with education, with knowledge, training, and experience, you throw an education in there. And I guarantee you, start removing the titles. Start dismantling those boxes. By removing all those shelves and those dividers inside those boxes, it just becomes a big group of human beings that respect each other. If we all work on love and respect, if we all work on understanding, and if we all work for the better good of everyone, not politicians that are constantly, constantly, constantly stealing, stealing, like from charities and so forth. There's so much of this, and like it's just, it's become, everybody is complacent to it. They are stealing from the fabrics of your nation you knowingly vote for them and you defend them. And they become more and more corrupt. And, and, and hence why 80 to 90% of all the money goes to pension benefits and salary. 10 to 20% is the max money spent on humanity. <laughs> and if everybody actually worked for the better good of humanity, and if everybody removed all the titles that are tied to money and organization, so forth and divisions and pigeonholes, could you imagine the world we would have today? Just for a moment, I want you to pause and think about that. Jean-Guy Bourguignon, EFA 140.